Yo yo yo, new day, new deal. We are back with a uh, controller that's actually working. Uh, my the controller I usually play with is a very old. It's ancient technology, right? So it has this uh, goofy little feature uh, that basically, whenever it like thinks I'm looking away, whenever it gets its opportunity, it just the stick just moves like upwards, like the movement stick. What, what is what is it called? It's like you know this the the move, movement stick, movement stick. It's a stick. You know what I mean? It just moves upwards whenever it gets the chance, and it's fucking horrible. It 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 doesn't do it usually, but it's just it's getting into the habit of doing it every single time I turn on like anything pretty much. It's not even like in game. I've tested just like an input uh, device, but it just it it just does it without me knowing why, and I can't stop it really. It's fucking frustrating, cause I've I've tried to I've downloaded a like some software to to try to help it or like fix it or get a reason why it's doing anything. It it's, I mean it's a lot of like convoluted tech shit that I granted it doesn't look that complicated. I'm just not feeling well enough to actually look deep enough into it. Uh, I mean, I am a fucking certified nerd going out of high school uh, from tech class, so I should know what's going on, but I don't. It just it just also shows me that, yep, your, your controller is doing something goofy, and that's pretty much all it is right now, for right now, at least. So... Current moment, I am, I am playing with the, my roommate's controller instead, uh, which has a an Xbox layout. I'm used to playing with PlayStation, so that's a bit goofy. It also has buttons like on on the bottom of it, where one of them is what's it even for? I don't know. It's a uh, it it's wired to I think the A button or something. No, that's wrong. The B button? Maybe. Um, yeah, so that's gonna be a fucking detriment this run, I can already tell. Uh, and that's 100% gonna be my excuse for when I lose, is that, oh no, my controller is... I, I'm, I'm not used to playing with this. Um, well, uh, same. So... Yeah, I don't, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'm, I'm buying a new controller, maybe not. I've, I've actually never bought my own controller. I've just gotten used ones from uh, one of my friends. The, <laughs> the same friend over and over again. He just keeps buying new controllers, so I keep getting them, I guess. Or I'll keep on getting them. Uh, I've gotten three. Uh, but that's an unusual amount for one person to give out. Uh, granted, one of them has was fucking broken, uh, and was just a joke gift, I guess. But I mean, it still kind of works. So I just uh, you know used fucking gaffer tape to just uh, piece it back together, and it worked. That's that's actually the controller I used to used to have uh, before uh, before the one I had now. Just like. No, that's actually like I I got I got this one for Christmas or my birthday or something. The one I'm about to destroy. I don't I don't know where the others are actually. Might just be gone from existence. Uh, anyway, yeah, this is, uh, holy fuck. I'm yeah, those my controller guys. Trust me, that was a controller. Uh, also, I am. I am not pretty sick, but I am sick. I'm like a solid like th three out of ten sick, which is not like I'm doing fine, right? But it's just like the depressing winter cold getting to me. Um, 
And like, I'm just sick enough to not go to work, which is, I mean, I guess kind of cool because then I can just stay home and just play fucking video games. But, I mean, then again, I have a job so I can, you know, chase the bag and, uh, you know, pay rent, which I can't if I'm sick and don't go to work. Because, uh, surprise, surprise, my boss won't pay me if I don't work. Holy shit, I just thought I lost two bench flies. Um, yeah, the, the worst detriment right now is just that the stick is not where it used to be. So, like, my movement is kind of off anywhere I go. Uh, but I guess I'll get used to it. Also, if I buy another controller of this kind, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I guess I'll find out. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'm sick right now, and I don't have uh, anything for my throat. I have nothing left. I've drank the last of my ch chucky milk, and I have no like. Uh, sore throat uh, ailments, what the fuck do you call it, like, small little sucky wuckies. I don't know what the fuck to call them. Um, so that's gonna be awesome uh, the next couple of days, the next day probably. I don't know. My immune system is not what it has been, uh, and it hasn't been great at all throughout life, so... Not like the track record is being broken or anything. How have I already died? This is my second run. I am like seven minutes in. Yeah. This is horrible. So yeah, I've uh, played... I've played Rain World. I finished Rain World. Or, or at least, you know, as much as you can finish of Rain World. Well, I guess you can't finish the game. Yeah, I finished Rain World. Like the base game, just survivor. Uh, with this controller, by the way, my my old controller, it, it just missed out on actually making it to the end of Rain World. I don't know. It, it again, it just kept inputting like the fucking up button, and I couldn't live with that. So here we are. But overall, that's a pretty good game. It's a pretty, pretty decent game, Rainworld, and I already want to play it again, so that's a, that's a good sign. Um, my biggest gripe with it is just that it doesn't really have, like, that much of a tutorial on what the fuck to do when you, like, because I've talked about, I'm, I'm in the depths, right, the subterranean, the depths. Like, the end game, end game. Uh, which, first of all, now that I've gotten it, now that I've gotten past those guardians, the place is fucking cool. Holy shit, it's a cool-ass fucking place. Also because you just you just have time to explore, the, the cycles just kind of stop when you're down there. Which is so awesome, because you actually have time to just fuck around. Um... I, I mean, I like the concept of the Guardians that, like, okay, they stop you if you don't have high enough karma and high enough cycles and stuff. But, I mean, it does a really fucking poor job of explaining that you need more cycles or more, um, karma markings. I don't know, I don't know. Karma markings, sounds like someone, yeah, it's from fucking Boruto. Uh, for God, I hate Gorb. Oh yeah, this this controller is gonna be fucking terrible to learn to do platforming on. Christ. Christ. Okay. Let 
let me not die again. I really don't want to die twice to Gorb. I fucking hate Gorb. Um, so yeah, I, I finished Rain World. That was pretty fun. But again, this not th the biggest issue with the Rain World that I don't really know how I would fix. It's just you don't get told anything of like how to get past anything, like any hurdle whatsoever. Uh, which I guess would be kind of kind of fun if you didn't have to backtrack and if you didn't have to like oh thunder. Like, if the world wasn't so open, I guess, this... Like, I explored a bunch of the world, uh, but not enough, apparently. Which is also, like, I admit it's cool that you get to, like, quote-unquote backtrack, and then you get to, like... It, they're just bad at indicating where you need to go, because I like the fact that I got to a big roadblock, that I then had to backtrack and like just explore the world pretty much to get around this backtrack like the not the backtrack uh, the, the big wall with the obstacle oh thunder shut the fuck up yeah uh, so I like that I like the concept of that they're just bad at indicating where the hell I, I need to go also, there's a. I talked about it, but there's apparently just a guy in the corner of the map that just gives you the maximum, like, karma thingy. Which. I mean. Again, cool if you have it. But, like. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what my point is here. I think it would have been, like. Pretty alright. If I actually were to uh, to have gotten that first, or if they at least told me that it existed, but they didn't. It even they do have like a system for uh, for indicating where stuff is. They're just really bad at using it. They have both like the uh, the fucking I don't know some sort of like flying fish or something in the air, They're just like glows bright glows like golden in the direction that you need to go like the, the fish they swim in the direction you need to go uh, but it's such a small area around the place that you have no chance whatsoever to actually get to where you need to go Wah -ha. oh god damn it and also just the issue of, uh, they have those, like, uh, like, when you look on the map, they have, like, small blue circles that, like, pulsate. Which you think might indicate something, but they just don't. They just straight up don't indicate anything. And I don't know why they have them. It's to this day. Like, a solid almost 50 hours into the game, I don't know why. Oh, oh Jesus. Yeah, I'm not feeling well. This is. Just, I'm really overexerting myself by talking this much and talking using this much brain power. So I'm hoping. I hope you appreciate it. That I don't uh, get fucking behind on days again. That's also. I, I'm kind of glad I died as early as I did. Because then I got an excuse to make two runs for today and yesterday. Uh, of course, I'm a lot more days behind than that, but let's just not talk about that for now, okay? Okay. Ah, yeah. goddammit. Yeah, so... So, yeah, the game basically ends with just going down. Okay, I guess, uh, spoilers, if you have any any plans on, uh, on rain worlding. Um, but the ending is pretty much just you go down to the depths and then you it, it it turns into this like distorted world almost and you like you know how you already feel like such a small part of something greater it's basically that feeling but much larger god damn it shit 
give me some room to heal, goddamn. Uh, it's basically like that, but on steroids, because you are such a small little weakling that the quote-unquote enemies, just like, I guess, mobs around you, that you can't really interact with, by the way, because they're just so fucking huge compared to you. Like, they don't even see you as a threat. I don't think they even see you. Like, it's it was actually a moment when you, like... You got down to their caves and the, like everything flashed golden and you don't really know what's going on. Like it's beyond you, pretty much. It's like you feel like you're not supposed to be down here. But it's so fucking cool and it's so interesting that you can't not look, you know? Been there, been there. Good game, good game. So that's kind of the feeling I got. Which is really fucking cool for a game of like this... I, I feel like the game is pretty fucking niche, uh, even though it's like, shouldn't be, I guess. Oh god, this fight is gonna be horrible on a new fucking gamepad. Yep, I can already feel it. The anxiety of dying to zero. God damn it, that was not the way you're supposed to go. Uh, so yeah, you basically, you go down to this cave, where you then further go down, like, again, the, uh, the indicators, they can, f they can use them pretty well. Like, the, uh, the fish swimming, they use them to show that you have to swim down in some, like, weird lake. Which, again, it goes against all fucking instincts, because water in this game is so terrifying. And also, this water down here is complete pitch black. Pretty much, it like, it's black, but it's golden. If you know what I mean. I'm really bad at describing this place, but it looks so fucking cool and like almost ethereal. Not almost ethereal. It it, it feels so ethereal. Uh, I should. <sighs> yep. God damn it. At least I hit some of them. Uh, it's it's a cool fucking place. Is what I'm trying to convey here, right? Uh, that. You just swim down, and you, for some reason, you just, you feel like, yeah, I should go down, even though nothing happens for, like, a good while. You just follow your heart, you follow your instincts, and then you're in the right place. I don't know if there's, like, alternative endings, like, if you could go somewhere else or something, I don't know. Uh, I'm assuming not, because it's, like, a pretty small game, right? Uh, sizably small, pretty small, like, I don't know, sizably small? What the fuck? Um, but... Essentially, you go down to these, like, huge-ass fish that don't see you, and then one of them sees you, and it's like, yo, what the fuck? And then you grab onto it, which, I mean, I was kind of hoping I could do from the beginning, but apparently I couldn't. Um, just like swimming by them. I actually tried to grab on, but I just couldn't, which was kind of sad because I really wanted to do that because I thought it would be pretty cool. But then I did get to do it afterwards, but like in a scripted scene, I guess, which was kind of not so cool. Uh, but it's still respectable because they actually let me ride this thing and like. Because I play with the controller, I can like, feel the controller vibrate as if, like, the water currents are so fucking strong because these guys are moving so fast compared to my size and, you know, it, it's just the feeling. Uh, the feeling of greatness. Uh, and the size of this. And then it eventually leads you down to just the bottom of the void, I guess. I don't know where the fuck this is. But it's just it's just the end, pretty much. Uh, where you again, you just swim for eternity and I I don't know, it, it was kinda goofy. I I swam for swam for eternity and then I kinda ended up not uh, doing like just like, I, I was, I was kind of getting bored, not gonna lie. It was, I don't know. Too long, too long. I'm trying not to die here. I don't really don't want to die to blobbles. 
want to prove that I can do this even with this uh, new controller. I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna die. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, essentially, you go down to this place, you swim around, I guess, uh, and eventually, you just meet several other versions of yourself, which is, uh, I don't know, I feel like there's some bigger meaning behind everything, but I really don't know. Um, and essentially you just swim around until you see some bright light and then you swim up to this bright light and then there's some cutscene that I don't understand and then it's uh, then the game start then it's title screen and I don't I don't fucking know what the meaning of this is the meaning I get out of it is that I am a sperm cell uh, competing with other versions of myself for uh, impregnating an egg because it just looked like a like like a fucking big egg the thing we swam into and then you know the game kind of stopped there um, and just like okay I guess this could be a metaphor for like the entire game is just like the trials and tribulations of life and this is all... I don't know. I don't know what the... F I feel like I'm wrong, but it's the only thing I can think of right now. And it's so goofy that I've come to this conclusion because I feel like it is so wrong. Uh, I know there are a lot of, like, lore videos out there on YouTube. There's not that many tech videos, but there are a lot of lore videos. Uh, on Rain World that I can finally watch now. Oh, oh, sir. Uh, or I guess I can really without being spoiled because I've, I haven't visited the entire world yet, right? Uh, and I'm planning on playing again, but I don't know if I want. I don't know if I'm. I don't know if it's worth it to get to be spoiled for like a fucking YouTube video or if I just. Uh, I thought you just should just should just play the game again I'm thinking I'm just I'm probably gonna go on uh, on hunter mode because you know hunter uh, fucking cool I know there's also a mode I think it's a it's a downpour DLC mode uh, where, oh my god my throat is fucking hurting I'm hoping I die soon so I can end this run there's a, a, a DLC where you can play as a fat guy, pretty much. Uh, where I think the, his mechanic is that he's a bit slower and has like, you know, can jump not so far and he has to eat more and stuff. Basically just hard mode. Uh, without being hard mode, like a reskinned hard mode, I guess. Uh, so that's pretty cool. It's a cool concept and I would like to play it. But uh, I'm taking a little break from that, from the entire Rain World shtick, because I've been playing it throughout like the entire week, basically. Because again, I've been—I uh, haven't been sick the entire time, but I have not felt like the greatest, and I've just had a bunch of free time, I guess, over the weekends. Again, I have, you know, I have, I've, I've had a half day's work on Thursday, then had a break week, break weekend, I guess, until Tuesday, where I had a full work day, and then I'm supposed to work tomorrow again, Thursday, uh, good game, good game, on Thursday again, called in saying, yo, I'm sick right now probably won't be able to make it tomorrow so that's and that's it for the rest of the week so yeah rip my money rip rent I guess that's sad but that's how it is shit 
I could die here, but I'm disappointed if I die here because then I can't put the blame on a new controller. Because these controls are the exact same as they have always been. Yeah, maybe not. No, definitely. Yeah, okay. That was a, good, that was a decent marmor fight. I'm, I'm alright with this. My throat is really hurting though, so I'm not too big a fan of still being alive. Uh, in game, of course. God, I could, I could do with some fucking noodles right now. Oh my god, I've just realized there's the craziest fucking shit I just realized. Uh, noodles? There's a guy in the... Uh, like, what's it called? Uh, Naruto power scaling community. Uh, called Noodles. Who is just like a fucking concept. Like, he's just... A goofball uh, that has the worst takes ever and he is so fucking bad at arguing and it's so funny to see like it's kind of funny it's kind of frustrating to see him argue uh, basically TLDR history right uh, a couple of years ago he had a a debate like fucking like three hour debate with uh, Swag Kage, uh, aka uh, big, a big Naruto YouTuber, big Naruto power scaler debater, or something, you know, uh, about uh, pain. No, not uh, pain. It's wait, what was it again? No, it, it was pain. It was pain versus Kakasu, which, if you know anything about Naruto, it is pretty clear that Pain is very consistently above Kakasu. It shouldn't even be a debate. But this motherfucker is fucking strawmanning every single argument and making this debate three hours long. Uh, and it just it's just obnoxious because the guy thinks he's right. Right? It's not even a bit, it's just he genuinely thinks he's right and he is a fucking child when he gets called out on it. Uh, and he does get called out on it sometimes. But he just doesn't really care. And he is like, you know, no, I, that's that's a lie, I still won this debate. Uh, he, he just came back with another debate. Uh, where you would think that he's not as toxic because it's like, okay, now he's uh, he's debating uh, pain versus Itachi instead of pain versus fucking Kakasu, uh, which is a much fairer fight. Like there's been a lot of debate if pain versus Itachi is actually like who would actually win, and I still don't know. Like, after this debate, if, like, okay, yeah, maybe Itachi would win. Maybe Itachi would actually win. Uh, but it's just, it's just funny the way he, the way the guy, the way this noodles guy, he just is so fucking obnoxious about everything. And, again, he strawmans every single fucking argument, and... When he like when the same gets done to him, he just uh, 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 he, he fucking he's so. I guess the thing is, he's good at debating, right? But if you think just a little second about his points, they don't make any fucking sense whatsoever. But he makes you feel like an idiot if you don't agree with him. And that's how he wins most debates, I'm guessing. Could you not at least let me have this one W? I guess you're just trying to help because I've been complaining about a sore throat this entire time. But when I made it this far, I would like to make it to Collector. So if you could help me with that, pretty please, Chio. I guess I didn't even greet you, so I guess I, I have it coming if you... If you slap me, but... Yeah, I'm sorry about that. 
Uh, it's just when he gets called out on everything. And it, also, holy shit. Another thing is just he does not stop fucking talking. Like, that's just a whole ass thing that he has. It's just he won't let his opponent, like, finish their argument. And then when he is about to lose a single point in the argument, he just continues on to another, not letting his uh, his enemy, sounds brutal, but, you know, his debate partner, if you will, even finish. And it is so fucking funny as, like, a side, like, viewer, good game, good game, to just witness... Oh fuck, I just realized High Knight is gonna be absolutely terrible. With new controls. Because High Knight is about controlling it right with, you know, pointing your stick downwards properly. Which is pretty much my entire thing when I'm doing High Knight. I guess I could just do it with, like,. Can I survive? Thank you, yep. I guess I could just be like, a little careful and that's the end of that. Can you fucking stop? Can you fucking stop? Okay, thank you. So yeah, they came back and had a four hours argument uh, and you you think that okay when there are literal years between the debates maybe he has had some character development and he is less toxic which I thought so as first too uh, but no it became pretty clear pretty fast that no, he just became even more obnoxious <gasps> in those, like, what, four years, five years? Which is so fucking funny to me. But also just sad. Although he's, uh... I don't know, it, when, when he feels like he's won a point, he also just fucking runs around and screams. Again, his thing is basically just, if I'm loud enough, I'll win the argument. Like, every single argument he has is just like such a kindergarten moment. Which, again, it's frustrating, but it's nice to see. It's just satisfying to see someone like Swakage, because he knows his shit. To just counter and counter and counter, like, over and over again. Yeah, same. So it's pretty exciting to see. Uh, but then again, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what's my, what my point is here. Don't, don't tell me I'm gonna fucking beat Collector today. With first time playing with my new controller. Not, not my new controller, my roommate's controller. I'm getting above and over my, over me head here. I'm not in the right fucking mind space to actually defeat Collector, I don't think. I really don't feel like I am. But I guess we'll see. Okay, can he heal? Yes. Thank you. Ooh, uh, okay, that was close. God damn, that's is this is obnoxious, but I it's doable at least. What I only killed a one with that whole thing. Thank god I counted correctly. Ooh, uh oh. Oh, 
Okay, okay, okay. Can I heal? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dear God. Okay, this is gonna be a problem, yep. Ooh, ooh. This is gonna be a problem, yep. Fuck, I thought I had him with that one spell, but no, I didn't. I fucking, I missed. I can't even remember, either I turned the wrong way or I just missed straight up. I thought he was closer to the ground than he was. That was still a solid collector fight from a perspective of having a new controller that I'm not used to. So, yeah. Pre-gamer move, I'm gonna shut the fuck up so my throat can have some peace and quiet now. So, um, yeah, over and out. Uh, good night, my fellas, and see you tomorrow.